Hey guys, what's up? Brooklyn Puppa back. Uh, okay, I got a couple things I want to talk to you about. Uh, all the things that like I've been showing you on my channel, I've been going nice and slow with. Uh, what's important, what you should do, is take the time out and make these things. Get yourself a nice big Tupperware, right, which I have. I call it my war chest, right? So what you want to do with the Tupperware is like, if you, you made a bunch of trip wires. You want to put them in the Tupperware, store them away, forget about them, right? Um, all the little little things you make, not, not necessarily your, your big stuff like your food and everything else, your, your ammo and stuff like that, but all the little things that are going to help you along the way if anything ever did happen, you want to have them all together in a Tupperware. You want to put things like whistles in there, right? Uh, you want to put some, you know, if you have some radios, all the stuff you want to put in there. And, and, and keep it in a nice little spot where you know where it is. In a drop of a dime, boom, you go to that wall chest and say, all right, I got my flashlights in there, I got, I got, I got my, my trip wires in there, I got my traps in there, I got my radios in there. You know everything's in there. And what you do, this stuff stays in there. You don't take this out and say, hey, Joe, you know, you got those radios, let's, let's have fun. Now I'll run down the block and talk to you. Let's have fun with the radio. No, you don't have fun with these radios. These radios you want to keep in your wall chest and forget about them. Because they're going to be there for you when you need them, right? You take them out, you start messing around with stuff on your war chest, it disappears, and that's it. You're done. All right. Well, one thing I want to share with you today is uh, my map grid system. All right. It's a real simple thing to make. A piece of paper with a virtual Earth uh, photograph on it. Little grid system. And uh, let me explain this to you. I'll show you how it's made and. Uh, Get a little close-up going here. Let's let's do it. Okay, what I did here, what you can see here, I got an aerial photograph from Bing, right? This is MSN uh, Virtual Earth, right? So I got an area photograph of my my area, right? So what I did, I centered my my home in the middle of my grid, okay? So what I did, once I got this aerial photograph, right, of uh, off the internet, right? Well, did I put it in one of those, you know, the Microsoft photo editor, you know what I'm saying? And I used the, the writing tool to make the grid lines. I made red grid lines, all right? Some of you might be familiar with this if you were in the military or whatever it is, right? But for the people that don't, don't know, this is going to be very helpful for you. All right, so what I did here, see all my grid and all my boxes? This is all around my property. I know my house is centered, right? All right, see, I got... A, B, C, D, from A to P, right, coming down, right, and across the top, I got 1 to 16, right, so the beautiful thing about this, say if you are running a patrol, you know, or one of your buddies are running a patrol, and somebody else is somewhere else, and he decides through radio communication, right, because you want to have some, some decent radios, right, you don't got to go crazy, these were, I think, $29 on sale, like I got two of them. I got like six of them now. All right, so you don't gotta go crazy with the radios. If you're up in the mountains, they work fine. They go a long way. Long enough for what you're gonna do. You're not gonna be, be patrolling 10 miles from your house. All right, so in other words, if he calls in and he sees something unusual or maybe there's a threat or a zombie or something, whatever, Bigfoot, right? If he sees them and he sees them right here Right, so on the radio, all he has to tell me, because everybody will have a map like this, on the radio, all he has to say, I see uh, a zombie at D8, right? See that lake right there, D8. Now, everybody who's in your little community that you've been riding this out with knows exactly where to put their eyes. They look at the map, they go to D and 8, and they know exactly where to look or where the threat is coming from, right? So... It's a very simple thing, but a really important thing to have with you, right? So I can't explain how simple this is to make, right? It's just some letters, some numbers, an aerial picture of your place a little high up where you can make a grid around you. You want to have a nice where your patrol and range is going to be, right? See all the tree lines. I know where everything is around my house. So now somebody radios and say, hey, 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 Brooklyn, there's a threat at M11, I know. M11. That's how fast I know, right? I know my house is centered, right? And I know exactly where I got to go and where I got to look, 
right? If something's closer, it's just a good system. So I, I, did, I can't get into how much you should really make these things. If you have a, a bugger house, even in the city, it's a good thing to have it in the city, right? You could grid out your little area in your city and, you know, you always know where key locations are. If you keep in communications with all the families and stuff and you need to meet somewhere, you could just over the radio grid it out. Right, so that's what I do on this part. I, I make my whole grid, I put the I put the numbers and I put the letters. Okay, we got the map turned over, right? See on this the back side of the map, right? I just it's no grid. It's just a, uh, the the same picture but with no grid on it. So you can look at the layout of the land without having the grid in the way. Right? And what else I have back here is a little note over here to use whistles as signals, okay? So you want to alert somebody with whistles, right? Say, for instance, that your radios go down or they're broke or you don't have enough batteries or whatever it is that you don't have radios, right? The next best thing is whistles. You want to buy a bunch of these. These come like, I think I $3, I got two whistles. They ain't the best whistles in the world, but they do the job, right? So they came with a little whistle and, and the rope to put around your neck. All right, so whistles are important. So what I wrote down here, whistle alert, three long whistles. That would be a, wh a whistle alert. Now, everybody would pay attention after they hear that, right? Followed by, followed by the letter, all right? So it's, now the next set of whistles you're going to hear is going to be followed by, it's going to be the letter. So A1 would equal, you know, A would equal 1, B would equal 2, and so on, right? Then there will be a pause, then right here, whistle, and now then pause, followed by number. One equals one, two equals two, and so on. So in other words, when you hear the three long whistles, everybody alerts and everybody listens. Then the next thing you're going to hear is how many chirps he puts on the whistle is going to give you the letter. All right? Then the next thing you're going to hear after that pause is how many chirps he does on the whistle is going to give you the number. So if he chirped three times for the first one, that's C. Did he chirp ten times? That's ten. C ten. All right. So you get the idea about the whistles. You just gotta. You can make it any way you want. You just gotta have a good game plan, right? If you're gonna have communications with whistles, you can hear these things a long way in the mountains. You can hear them a long way in the city also. All right. So that's that's one step. So uh, then you got that. Another thing good about having the laminate stuff on there, if you want to, you could just take a a dryer, you have a dry dry eraser pen, right? And you can write on it. You can make plans. Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay, you patrol in this area there. You can do that. You can make plans. And as you're sitting around a table, you can discuss what's going to happen, right? And it's not permanent marker. So if you just take a, what is a ray? Oh, oops. Now, if you just take a rag, it can wipe right off, right? You can start a new plan. All right? You can write anything you want. Hey, here we go. We're going to drive this road. We're going to patrol here. We're going to go there. Like I said, these things come for a silly little thing of a paper with an aerial photograph on it. It is so useful for everything. All right? Like I said, you got your whole grid over here. Now there's no confusion. Now I'm, you're not calling on the radio. Hey, hey, Joey, uh, I see a guy, you know, by that fence. Uh, you know, I see him near that house over there. What house? You know, what fence? You know, you don't get that. Right away you call up, hey, Joe, I see a threat at H10. H10, boom, you know exactly where it is. All right, guys, so I hope this little grid thing works. And like I said, Make these things now. Don't stick around and say, yeah, I'll make it tomorrow and this and that. Start making them now and they go in your war chest. You take, I made 12 of these up, right? So I, I have enough for a bunch of people coming up, right? So that's what you want to do. You got to make sure you make a bunch of them. You want to put it for the whistle thing. You want to make sure you leave the little instructions in the back also because... And when people start getting nervous or whatever happens, they tend to forget, oh, is the letter first or the number first? All they have to do is they hear the whistle, they say, okay, the letter's first. They could just go right back to their little piece of paper and remember. If you have radios, the better. You know, you don't got to use whistles. You're just going to be calling out the, the code signs on your map grid here. All right, guys, I hope this little simple idea, see, that's, I'm just trying to show you guys really simple stuff to start with you know and these are little stupid things that that if something did happen is going to be 
a lifesaver. All right, so there you go, and I hope you uh, hope you enjoy it and make them. You know, uh, leave me a comment. And another thing, I want to thank all these uh, all my new subs. I'm really impressed. Uh, thanks, thank you to all of you, and uh, I'll be seeing you in a second. Okay, guys, there you go. That's uh, that's the little grid system. Okay, so I hope this helps out. And listen, please, for me, make these things, because when the time comes, you know, you're gonna need them. You know, you can also make them on a piece of paper if you don't. If, say if you didn't make them, you got a little lazy, right? So you didn't make them, right? You take a piece of paper, draw your house out, and then draw all the areas around your house, and you could just make a grid system even by pencil, right? So it's better than nothing. This is better because they're more detailed and everything, like I said, and you got the back, the little instructions on the back, and that's it. Like, <clears throat> make sure you put all your stuff away in your little war chest. You don't want to, you want to keep everything organized. See, a big part about prepping is trying to be organized. And certain things, certain things like, you don't want to touch. Like, these things, I'm not touching them. They just go right into my war chest, right? I'm not going to turn around and say, Hey, you know, uh, I think I said all this already. <laughs> you know what? I do repeat myself. <laughs> My wife is always right. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, it's just the funny thing. Like, I have a lot of people. Some person came over to me all day, and he said, uh, "Hey, hey, hey, Brooklyn, why, why, why you print? What do you do all this stuff for? Like." You know, why are you save, saving all this food and stuff like that? That's why if you're a new prepper, you're going to get a lot of this. You're going to get a lot of people say, oh, we're going to wear a tin hat, right? We're, aliens are coming, right? Never mind all that stuff, right? Because, believe me, you take care of yourself and your family, right? You're never going to have to worry about it. The other schmo next door, that, is that that's the only thing they got for dinner is Cousin Johnny's leg, right? They're the ones who are going to be suffering, right? So... Just keep your heads up, keep strong, and do this. And just like the like, if nothing ever does happen, what did we do? We prepared. You know, we prepared. We got our stuff together. We had our shit together, right? And if something does happen, we're gonna make it. And believe me, and I know in my heart, all you preppers out there and everybody, we're gonna be the people that are gonna make it. So I see you later, brothers and sisters. Till next time.